back here at uh, Ant <laughs> in Antwerp at uh, Outpost on Fire 4. We had a slight break ourselves considering we were in the verge of dying. But uh, we're back in the game now. It's 9-5 uh, to five here at Aces versus Team CM. TCM not having a very good tournament so far. Really performing really terribly for a team that is considered number two of Europe right now. But uh, overall, well, what can you say? They are on crash. And as, uh, I'm quickly going to check the uh, scores. Right now we got Delru as well as uh, Froz topping up. And again, Froz leading the fray for... Uh, for TCM consistently. Now, he managed to, uh, let's see if we can find him. There he is. I was waiting by A site, ready to uh, rock and roll as he pops around the corner very, very shortly. We'll see whether or not it will do anything there. But uh, the rest of uh, Aces are just happily, happily camping out here by, uh, well, by the B site. Now, one of the TCM rides is right around the corner here. Vado can. Make the difference right here, even though gets Mama, gets the single in the SMG in hand. Can he get the second right around the corner? Here it is. Can the bomb get planted? No, it's not because a preki has got it. And the aces are, are assaulting right now, making their way towards connector. Interesting. Interesting move from Preki. Even though there's two of TCM still sitting on top of that bomb side. One of sitting in the hardware, and it is Blaza. And Suzel taking out Miracle. It's just Blazer remain. He can make a four man. Gets the first. Can he get the second? No, he won't. He needs to watch out right now. Get that reload in as fast as he can. The plant will be coming out. Preki ready to go. As Blazer needs to watch here. Gets a single tag. But uh, he'll be up against three. And it's going to be one hell of a fight. And it's going to be difficult to say the least. It's 10 to 5. Obviously, since we jumped into the game a little bit late. Mainly because uh, one of us could not decide whether or not they wanted to eat or not. And we were about five matches in a row already, and I was getting a little bit throat sick, to say the least. But uh, it's 10 to 5 currently. TCM need to make one hell of a comeback in order to pull this one off. With uh, Aces no doubt having an absolutely astounding first half here on uh, Crash. Vado already taking down Miracle. And the lack. The lack of scope is really not going well for TCM. Of course, you can close the, the distances between other players on, uh, on Crash quite rapidly. But in all honesty, it is always an interesting good tool to have. This is remaining. There he goes down. It's 11 to 5. TCM are getting their ass handed to them by the Antwerp Aces. Walker is going to be pissed. 11 to five as we jump into this game. After this, we'll be setting up for the next round as uh, Mama already takes down Vado. As uh, Delru going for the double. Delru oh, going for the triple on Frost. Gets naded himself. Leaving just Preki Suzel and Clark Kent who obviously is our good friend, uh, the scope himself. Two v two, Frecky Suzel, Deathstone went down. Miracle taking down the scope, and this is it right here. TCM needs to win this round in order to stand. A little bit of a chance, but uh, we do have Miracle sitting by that B site. And this right here could be the kill that makes the game. It won't be because Preki is too quick. 1v2. Miracle has got to do what his name implies. Explosives planted. He is... Going down, it is match point for the Antwerp Aces versus TCM. TCM playing badly, to say the least. Miracle already going down early on. Brecky finding himself down on the ground. It is 4v3. TCM, if there was any time to shine TCM, this would be it. But Kaja is going to go down. 
This team is not going to go anywhere. The lack of scope did their head in. Because here's Blazer. He takes down Fado. Hey, there it is. Delru does it. And there you go. TCM picks it. Well, does not manage to pick it up as Antwerp Aces place themselves firmly in first place in Group A here. The outpost on fire number four. And TCM. I do think they advance, but at what, in what position? It cannot be good at all. Yeah, we take advances. Uh, let's see who else advances. That's probably a good question to figure out. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, win fact advances. Yo-Yo Tech, TCM, and Asus taking Friday in defiance, I believe, out in the count. But I'll have to inquire with the uh, admin to see whether or not we can uh, get something going with that. Our uh, sincerest apologies that we did not manage to get the first bit of the match. But as you can see, 4 13 to 5 TCM getting their ass handed to them on their head. That's right. TCM not having a very, very good day. We'll be back with you later on, I believe. Yes, we will for Group B, round number one. They're going to be setting up very, very shortly. And we have the option between the Last Resort versus Addix, Sibo versus Knights, Roxas versus Animus. Send your answers in on a postcard of what you want to see on the stream here at Chaos TV. Because we're going to give you all the coverage you would ever want for the next, well, how many rounds do you have? Seven rounds. Don't go anywhere. Private Paula, fight! Hit me! Oh, I'm sorry, the bleeding, darling. Is your PC a sissy? Get a tough one. The high-performance Medion Eraser Gamer PC and the new Medion Eraser Gamer Notebook. Powerful, innovative, based on the ultimate smart performance 2010 Intel Core processors. All you need for a fantastic gaming experience. Medion Eraser, most powerful gaming machines.